In today's video, I'll test Vectorworks on M1 MacBook Air. Vectorworks is compatible only with Windows operating system. I'll be using Parallels with Windows 4 ARM for the test. This is M1 MacBook Air for Architect Part 3. So if you find this video helpful, subscribe my channel for more videos. So this is M1 MacBook Air base model. And as you can see, I'm running Windows 10 on a Parallels. At the time M1 MacBook Air was released, there was no Parallels working. There was no Windows working either. Until now, Microsoft and Parallels are working so hard for this. So, now we have a Windows. But this is still a preview version, so it can be buggy. That's why I couldn't install other software to test. I couldn't find the latest full version of Vectorworks, so I installed Vectorworks 2019 instead. I found this version on Google, it's not that hard to find. Also, I only have one project file to test, so just consider this video as it kinda works. Anyways, here's the Vectorworks 2019. Alright, so now Vectorworks Designer 2019 is on. Before I start, I want to let you know, guys, that I'm not the professional architect. Alright, so you know, just like other tools I tested in my other videos, you can put some shapes like this and you can move the shape and put some text here. Hello world. Okay, let's open the sample project. Okay, so this is the project I downloaded on Google. And this was the only project I could find on Google as well. I don't know if, where I can download the sample project. If you guys know where I can find, then please leave your comments down below. So this project looks like, um, mm, yeah, Vectorworks Design Collective. You know, it's like a material list, I guess. Door schedule, window schedule, door hardware legend, like labor cost, concrete cost. Yeah. I wonder if it has uh, different pages. Yep, it has different pages as you can see here. So I'll go to see plans. Hmm. Is that it? It's kind of small. I used to use AutoCAD only, so what I can tell you now is it looks similar and seems like it's working fine. It doesn't pop up any error message. Okay, let's go to the other um, pages. I'll need that. Oh, so this is the main page of the blueprint, I guess. So this plan is about the house. There are some notes, conditions, another notes, yeah. Interior elevations, yeah. There we go. Details, there we go. Design layers. Oh, it has a 3D design. That's nice. So I move like this. Is it possible if I can rotate? It's not that leggy at all. Can I zoom in? Yep. Oh, there's a Bob there. Hey, Bob. Another woman there. I don't know who she is. Maybe it's Bob's girlfriend. Maybe. And during the test, the temperature, when I touch it here, you know, when I play games with Emma MacBook Air, then it kind of gets hot on this spot. And right now it's not even getting hot and also it's running on parallels it's not running through boot camp right it's on the parallels and still it's not even in the hot at all and the performance is not too bad for 2d plans and 2d designs it works perfectly fine for 3d it's kind of a little bit laggy but it's not too bad in my opinion I wish I had more project to test to show you guys how it works, if it has any issues, but this is the only project I have. I'm planning to test more architect softwares, Revit, 
SOLIDWORKS and more. But they are not compatible yet. I tried to install them, but sometimes it pops some errors or even if I install it, I can't run it. I will keep trying to install these softwares as Microsoft updates their operating system. So if you don't want to miss it out, don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you're curious about other architect softwares like AutoCAD, ARCHICAD and more, check my channel and I have tested some several architect softwares. So yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.